back everyone so uh, this is a continuation of uh, our portfolio uh, project so we've already done our nav menu we have our hero section and then about and work section we talked about uh, different uh, CSS styling techniques and like we've used bootstrap to help us uh, uh, with some uh, default styling and uh, this video we're gonna work on the contact section this is gonna be very similar to what we did for other sections so what i'm going to do actually i'm going to go all the way down here right about these script tags below our latest section here and i'm going to add another section and i'm gonna call give it an id name of contact and then for the content i'm gonna have this uh, header well i will add a container first but i'm gonna copy this header and paragraph also so i am going to do a where is it here um container with a margin y of four oops four and then here i'm going to copy my header it's going to be contact this time i will keep the lorem ipsum um, text here that's our dummy text and then the next thing we're gonna add is our form so for that i'm gonna save it right now see how it looks we have our contact here so everything looks as it's supposed to be for the form i'm gonna go to bootstrap and actually grab their form right there so they have form overview i also want to get like email address and instead of password oh uh, i plan to get uh, name so i'll have name and email so this is going to be very similar to this form so let me actually bring what i have over here so let's see yeah so very similar to what they have here instead of password i'll have like a name and also email address let's check it out here so i'm going to start with a form tag because i want to make sure this is a form then for the inside of it i have two form groups because i want to have label and input for each of them maybe it's better for me to like show it over here when i say form groups this is one form group with label and the input and then another one with label and input actually i want to have like ask them like hey what's your project what's your inquiry here not like their name you could have added those things as well so it's similar to what we have here for the email section uh, what we have here we have a label which says email address and that's up here and then for the input we have a type email and then a class of form control this we did before too let's change this for an id and i'll let you, i'll tell you what this is so this is gonna be email input so this for an id they will kind of like connect these two it says like this label is for the email input which is this guy input here okay and then we have a placeholder we can also make it required over here uh, similar to what we did for the form up here we made it required so if they just try to submit it when it's empty it's gonna throw an error um, let's see what do I want to do over here same thing we'll make the text area also required and this is another kind of uh, input field so we saw text up there up here for our 
um, main area here if we can find it in hero I have welcome and then here text technically since this is email address we probably want to do email for this this adds like some additional um, validation and I will show you what I mean by that for the text area again here we can change the for an ID this is just like an example I'll copy it and paste so we need to kind of um, customize it for our own purpose so for this one I'm gonna say this is tell me whatever it doesn't matter it's just like something that's uh, unique and then you can say hey this label is for this ID and then if you see instead of input here I have a text area text area is good when you are expecting multiple lines of text like uh, for the purpose that we have here like tell me about your project this can be a very long text so we are saying like the number of rows is only three so uh, if I like keep typing which is gonna take forever three lines so it can go more so but like the number of rows that I see right here is only like three rows so at a time I can see three rows let's see if I change it to five it's probably gonna expand that now it's expanded so I can see like five rows at a time but you can still type and then there is this thing also over here that you can like grab and drag it to make it bigger that's another thing that text area by default gives you uh, I believe at least Chrome is doing it uh, I know Safari and Firefox should also do that and Microsoft Edge also so most browsers also do the same so this is how you define how many rows you want to be visible at the beginning but you can of course uh, type more and then make it required and then we have our submit button instead of primary similar to what we did up in the other section I'm going to change it to info and that changes the color so now it's kind of like what is it cyan instead of blue and uh, you can check the buttons here in the component section so this was the info all right so this is good now we made both of these required so if i click submit here it's gonna say hey please fill out this form now if i do just like that since we added this type email over here it's gonna tell me hey dude this is not an email address like if I'm gonna submit please include an ad and the email address is missing an ad now this is a very basic check of email address now if I do add it's gonna be like okay now it's incomplete you need to add something add something dot something and it's gonna say hey that's fine and uh, most cases this format you could do some more validation but uh, really like you can't really maybe like you could check the dot after it should only be like certain uh, like words it could only be com or net or org but uh, the basic validation it gives you already so it wouldn't let you like submit the form with just like this because this is obviously an invalid email and then again here I have my text if I type something here of course I need to make this work and then if I submit now it doesn't really do anything it just reloads the page with this question mark added but anyways that's good the next thing we want to make sure is that for similar to what we did for the about and work in here in the nav items I also have contact ID contact over here for contact so if I go over here and click on contact it will scroll down all the way to contact 
Okay, so there is not much of a styling that we want to do to this. It looks good. If I keep making it smaller, shrink the page. You can see that this form is also responsive and this area kind of like uh, shrinks down as we shrink the whole thing down. Alrighty, so one last thing I want to add, one last section is a footer. And footer is very simple, just like I'm going to copy and paste it. So you can have a footer tag here and uh, it's just a container and says like all rights reserved. You can add your name also there. Let's add this uh, like kind of border to our contact section as well. So like what we did with about on work here, I'm going to do contact as well and this should apply that to our contact section too. We can give our footer a little bit of padding. Let's do some like class. We can do like margin Y of four over here. Now you have a little bit more of room here. Alrighty, so this website, the Main sections are done, everything is done, the front end is done, there is one, only one thing left, and that's uh, being able to grab these uh, email address or the content that people type here and kind of like save them somewhere in a database system so that uh, we can access that. And in order to do that, there are many ways you could build your own database, your backend and do that. But we're not going to do that right now because there are easier ways. And if there is a solution already built for something, why do you want to reinvent the wheel? So let's go to this website called formspree.io. Check the description box below the video. You'll see the link. I will put it over there. Once you get there, you can. Uh, this is where basically you add a little bit of code to your front end code here, and it will collect the form information for you. And you can see it over here how you uh, will be able to do it. But go ahead and do get started. You can register here, it's free. The I don't believe it's gonna ask for credit card, but uh, go ahead and add your first name, last name, email, password, and then check these boxes, at least the first one. Alrighty, once you register, you probably get an email uh, that will ask you to confirm your email and click on a link or something, you can do that. And then once you do that, here in the dashboard inside forms, you can click plus to create a form, new form here. And then if you haven't linked any email, you're going to have to like verify your email address. So if we go here, I haven't verified my email yet, so I'm going to go do that. And once you verify your email, you'll see it over here. So let's go back to, um, well, I'm signed in. I'm going to go to forms here, new form, and then you can give it a name. Let's say portfolio website newsletter. Okay because uh, we have two forms in the website one is up here subscribe to newsletter here is contact like ask questions or whatever project my first project and then the emails will be sent to the email that you use to create this account create form once the form is created you'll get like an endpoint for your form if you scroll down, we are using HTML. So you could use either this or better option is to use Ajax. It means that it will just give a thank you. Your email was submitted 
message right in the page without like refreshing the page that's like uh, the concept here so what I'm gonna do I have this form here I need to copy this action and this method here so copy action and method go back to my code find the form for subscribe right here and then here I have my action and method of post and save it over here and then there is this script that you need to place at the bottom also so I'm gonna copy this script and you can do it right above here your bootstrap script here let's format it uh, and then you need to make a couple of changes first of all um this is javascript and i don't want to get into details a lot but first thing you need to do is this my form here if you see they have like a form ID of my form so I can actually go ahead and grab this ID and then add it to the same form so let's see uh, my form is right here so I will add also the ID over here so make sure that's there and then we have uh, my form status here which is a p tag here after the submit button so you can go ahead and also copy that after your submit button this will show the like uh, success or the form status like if it was successful uh, the form was submitted successfully or not and then lastly you can go ahead and grab this id also just in case to add to your button here and then save it let's go test it out over here so i'm going to refresh the page and then if i try to subscribe without anything it's going to give me an error because i need something here then if it is doesn't have at sign it's going to be and uh, not working so at sign gmail.com for example and then subscribe see there was an error can't send an empty form so another thing we need to make sure we add is uh, this uh, property for our input because we need this we need to add a name property and we'll have it set as type of email similar to the type email so now i have name equal to email and then now if i go and try type like uh, submit this form i can do something that's probably not really valid like this and if i hit subscribe this will give you like should be an email so this is obviously not a valid email if i do that for now and remember what i have here and then subscribe now it says yeah thank you for your submission and if i go actually to my integration page here and then submissions i will see it over here so this has been submitted and everything is good and now the form also works so that's one form that we added for the uh, newsletter then we're gonna add another form for the contact section down here to do that let's go back to our uh, forms free here i can do the sign in again and we're gonna add a new form it's gonna be inside my first project it's fine 
and we could have like added a new project here but no problem there this one is gonna be contact and let's do portfolio website contact and here we can create the form now this is a, a different one but similar to what we had now i have my ajax selected here i do need to copy this again so let's copy this over here and then what i have to do i need to make a couple of changes this time the reason is that first of all i have one i have the same id as i had up here and that's not gonna work because if you remember you should only have one id for one element and then the name of this variable we already have one over here form and uh, change this variable form to um let's say contact form and then you're gonna have to make changes wherever this form is this the used here this one needs to be contact form this one needs to be contact form finally this one needs to be contact form similar to what we did for the previous form we need to add a an id to this form and since i had my form for the first one for this one i'm gonna do contact form and then we're gonna add the id here it's gonna be contact form and then the rest we can grab it from here i need my action and method control c over here and then paste it over here have my action and then my method here and don't forget to bring in the id for the button i probably don't need that let's do just the status one over here right after button button change the id name because we have one up there so instead of my form i will do contact form but i have to fix that down here as well contact form so don't just don't mess up with the first one like all this was here the second one we are working on so here contact form contact form contact form and lastly don't forget to add type email you need to add name also email and then over here for the text area you also need to add a name and then this is going to be equal to this can be anything so email made sense up there here project oops, project detail and then save and then let's see if this works so i'm gonna do like my actual email here and then hello i have a big idea i have a big idea and then submit here thanks for your submission so the form worked let's go back to submissions here and then let's see i have my submission over here for the newsletter i also still have that one for this one i have the submission email and then project detail was the name 
that I gave to this over here so that's what it's being used for project detail although I have a big idea now keep in mind that these uh, free plans have like a limitation on I think maybe like uh, 50 monthly limit so only like 50 uh, submissions you can get so keep that in mind uh, but yeah this is an easy way to set up forms and connect forms to like a backend platform a third party flat platform where you can actually see everything and once you receive like submissions you also get an email with the email address for your like account here that hey somebody submitted something and you can go and check it out over here all right so this is our whole website uh, i don't plan to add anything else here the last step is to uh, put the website on github and then host it on github pages for now this video that's it uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, keep an eye out for the next video because that will basically wrap up the whole process and we'll be putting our website on the live internet all right bye everyone